care of this. There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. What do you mean? The call came in for me, but I can't go. Salton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So people think it's haunted? Uh -uh. They know. Jessa needs someone who ain't afraid to run after them. That ain't me. What I'm asking everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now, I'll arrange to you. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you to be a skeptic. Salton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you called the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't Of course you're not. I'm just tired. No, don't be. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. Well, Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. You might need this. Found it in the house. What's this? Her phone. Is this Jessalyn's? Yeah. It's dead though. And the charger got mangled by something. 
Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. Okay. Were you and Jesslyn getting married Were soon? Were you and Jesslyn getting married soon? Yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Okay, is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? Ooh, juicy. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. <laughs> better get going later okay so we have the fiance oh yeah that scared me who is a snarky guy got this creepy squeak <laughs> nothing else okay let's uh how do i add it inside okay here we go oh dark let me uh turn up my screen Be Nancy. Let's talk to her. Yes, you must be Clara, Jesselyn's mother. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jesselyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Calm down a bit by now. I hope. Um. Okay, let's ask the Is last there any chance Jesslyn's disappearance could be cold feet? My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare. Never. had some, well, hon, he had some issues, but they worked through them. Um, what do you mean, issues? You mentioned that Colton had some issues. What did you mean? To put it delicately, family issues. Never you mind, it has nothing to do with what's going on now. Does it not? Uh, why is everyone here? Why is everyone here? Shouldn't we be out searching for Jessalyn? I closed down the company. The entire staff is out combing the woods. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. The police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here, knowing the place and all. Okay, goodbye, Bye. Ma See you later, hon. So some things were going on with Colton and his family, perhaps. Let's take a look around. We got some fruit. Old fruit, how is it not old? <laughs> uh, what is this? I need to 
had some tea first. Oh, okay, Nancy. Some tea. Let's make ourselves some tea. Let's add some sugar. I like a lot of sugar. Some more sugar.
doesn't sound good. It's locked. Oh. You have made a fatal error. I... This is an interesting picture. Well, um, don't open that door, I guess. Okay. Let's get out of here. Very... Oh, y'all saw that. Who is that? That was creepy. What's this? Oh. to do that.
Looks like something was painted over. directly on the painting. Hmm. I can't pour this directly on the painting. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's a new uh, sound by her, I guess. 
with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name? Get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. What kind of mess? What kind of mess? Take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living or the dead? Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. Okay, we have a lot of questions. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. Very sketchy family. Okay. Uh, what do you think of Colton? What do you think of Colton? I do not like that shifty little punk. But I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him, I mean it a little extra. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Who else is here? Clara. That's Jessalyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably real people? No. Uh, Who runs the family in order, I guess. Clara. Do you think that's fair? No. No. Would you like to run the company? Good, sweet nonsense, no. Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. My bad, bro. Oh my god. Very defensive. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessalyn's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin. Hopper and Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the girls after her mama passed. Do you know her? Do you know Savannah? I did. Once. And now? And now I don't. Very helpful. How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. First, I'm feeling a touch rejected, but then I look at the book. What was the book? 
That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died. That's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. As long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? I don't know. Yep, same here. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here. See, in the state room, but we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family had more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead, especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Were you close to Jessalyn? Everyone was. Everyone is. She's the bright spot of happiness in this whole miserable family. All right, sir. I better get Thanks going. for that. Later. Later. Some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? I don't know. When Clara was about ten, Rosalie got real sick. Every day Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. Rosalie wouldn't say. Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. Gray lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Okay. Harper Stone. Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad he left a stone to remind her of what she put them through. She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both.
Roger and Marie, side by side from the day they married to the day they died. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents. May they rest in peace. Okay. Mariana. That's the same thing. Let's see. 
she is who she is suddenly the drop she drops everything and is like we gotta go right now she said it like no drill just run we grabbed our stuff and we ran as we were going there wasn't smoke but we could all we were all choking like there was we could all smell a fire and in the distance we heard screaming
upstairs. Oh my. Should we go check? I'm not gonna get scared. 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 Okay. I got the chills. Okay. Let's go charge this phone. Ah, okay. I didn't read the rest of this, so um, let's try to do it ourselves. Time to recharge the battery. yet. All right. Still have to do that. Let's hide that. Da, da, da. Let's expand this. There we go. Into the group. Is that everything? Okay. Let's do a quick recap of some observations. Addison, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Yes. I can't. I'm sorry. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. <sighs> How's Jessalyn's relationship with Clara? Okay. Maybe a little strained. How so? Call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of course. Do you think Clara could have anything to do with Jessalyn going missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara. But still, I can't say for sure. What do you think, what do of, you Colton? think of Colton? What's to think? He's always been decent to me and Jess. The bedroom key is crossed out in the scavenger hunt. I need that key. Do you know where it is? No. Jessalyn must have found it, but I couldn't tell you where it is. 
Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married, and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. She used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. So, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. At first, it was really fun. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. Then, things got strange. Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. Upstairs, there was this door. doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jeff was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. Stop being fun. That's all I know. How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. Then something happened? Yeah. We were in the house and suddenly she just screamed. And then she's nowhere to be found. What happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. And she came back. She wouldn't say what had happened. She wouldn't even talk to me. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs, and that was that. You said things got strange. What did you mean? Strange. It was her and me up in that freezing house, and I remember thinking, said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. I only heard a little bit. Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the house? No, but it was so drafty in there, it would surprise me if there weren't. Okay. I'd better get going. Alright, later. Later. It's not charged yet. Did that. Did that. Check. Support the island. That's done. Done, 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 done. Can't check that off yet. Oh, my bad. Suspects. Thought a coma was Charlotte Jessalyn. Wait.
Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. As a matter of fact, Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse, but I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. I saw something really strange. I did too. What do you think that was? Excuse me, I need to be alone. I need to ask yes, her something else. What's the story with the locked room upstairs? It's Charlotte's. We don't go in there. It might help me figure out what's going on, if I could take a look around. Best of luck. That door locked itself up tight the day of her funeral. There's not a key in this world that'll open it. I've tried. Okay. Everyone else seems to be avoiding the house. Why are you in here? You'll think I'm crazy. Not after the day I've had. Fair enough. I guess I, I want to be close to whatever it is that took Jessalyn. about the ghost, but can you tell me anything about the real Charlotte? My cousin. But everyone thought we were sisters. She died here. Join the old family, as he used to say. When I was a little girl, my mama used to say, after we Thornton's passed, we keep on living right here. Every night would be a beautiful ball with songs and cute boys to dance with. She wasn't trying to scare me to death, but nonetheless, I did not sleep well on story nights. It does sound a little eerie. That was back when Thornton Hall was pretty. Now, I don't even want to entertain the thought. Why is it so small? Did your mother say much else about the ghosts here? Too much. If she thought there was a ghost about, she'd fall to pieces being so sad. Sad? Most people are afraid of ghosts. She had this weird belief. The Thornton ghosts aren't around forever. They got a short time to make their peace. If they don't, they get bitter. Real mean and nasty. Until they forget everything that made them human. And then, they slip into the cracks of the world to live with the others. The others? The lost souls. From an accident that happened here years back. Mama called them hungry shadows. Why? I don't want to know. She said they were all tangled together, lost and scared and mean. My mama was a good woman, but dang, if she didn't scare me half to death with a regularity. See you later. Bye. Okay, interesting. Do we have any more tasks? Just a little severe until you get to know her. And then? I wouldn't know. She does seem a little tough to get to know. I think it's an act. Come right down to it. She keeps the family and the company from falling apart. She can't afford to look weak. How did you and Jessalyn meet? I saw her one day and thought, this is the girl I'm going to then I threw a rock in her face. <laughs> like, metaphorically? No, I was just a kid. I had a very limited game book. She still has a little scar. You can see it when she smiles. Uh, I'll never live that down. I imagine. 
Did things improve from there? We became best friends. Then we grew up. Became what we are. Or were. Or... Well, what do you think happened to Jessalyn? Yeah. I'm trying to avoid thinking about it. I have a... My mind can get caught up in a real dark place. You know, when things around me get bad. What do you mean? Uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. Do you know anything about Clara's past? No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She gets so close and just stop dead. She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young. And she ended up living with her cousin's family. But that's it. So, you and Jessalyn must have dated for quite some time. Actually, didn't start dating until a year ago. Really? We both dated other people, but nothing worked out. One day, Clara had enough. Sat us down and said, Everyone knows you're gonna get married. Go to it already. Jess was mortified. We took her out to the coast. That always cheered her up. We talked through the night, and by the time the sun came up, it just stopped sounding so silly. See you later. Bye. out the password of course haven't done that I might have to ask that guy again did that See you later, hon. Okay, you're very helpful. Um, let's let's go to the cemetery. Okay. I don't know. Virginia, my mother. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her, and I always will. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart, and no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to stone. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy.
It's a sad inscription. It's a sad time. None of us wanted to see her ring. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. Uh, I don't know what oh, what's that? Beauregard Thornton. Mean old codger. Check it out. Come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away, the story started to spread. Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, Fire's so red, night's so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back over and over again until they just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her, saying that same silly rhyme. Most would just come and go in peace, but the ones who found her, it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. Scary. What happened to Charlotte and Harper's parents? Plane crash. Seems like there's a lot of misfortune in the family. Bad blood brings bad luck. Is it true that you have a questionable past? You asking if I really went to jail? Yes. I advise against it. Well, why? It's not a fun place, and they don't let you leave. No, I mean, why did you go to jail? I know what you mean. I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid, that's all. I'd really like to know. The nerve you got. I should have asked the other one. I didn't mean to click that. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. <sighs> Scary. I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases, long summer nights, stargazing on the roof. Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. You northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. Like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimble Tucky Boys, and I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is, I like ghosts because they show me what is, not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid. Makes you smart, if it's muddy. Well, you told me off. Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. Goodbye. Later. Let me know in the comments if you believe in ghosts. I do not. But if you couldn't tell, I love spooky ooky things. So.
Can you help me figure out Jessalyn's password? No. Actually, wait. <laughs> Hang on. The tombstone portion of our scavenger hunt? There was something strange about it. Can you think of a reason she would hide her password there? Just in case something happened to her. I thought she said that to scare me, but maybe not. See you later. Alright. Later. Interesting.
See you later. Bye. <laughs> 